Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. Today we're talking about the top protein sources to add into your diet tier list, raw, unfiltered, uncut. Before we dive into the video, we are live. It's official, man. Americana 2.0, you can see it behind me. 3sb.co to cop your gear, man. Some of my favorite pieces. This green tea is a nice faded emerald green. We got this bright sunshine yellow, all with the Americana tag. These meshies, best meshies in the game. About a five inch inseam. I'm about 5'10", 210 pounds. I'm wearing an XL right now. Quality mesh that stretches so you can train in it, but high quality enough you can also wear it out. And the snapback, fully custom snapback. The premium tees and the meshies, 3sb.co. If you didn't cop what you needed and it's sold out, it's because you're not in the gang. Goodcompanydiscord.com gets early access, exclusives, first looks plus like-minded individuals. So join goodcompanydiscord.com if you never want to miss out on a drop, because once we sell out, we sell out. Let's dive into the video. We're ranking them on. I'm about to nut, effing amazing, okay, bad, pure garbage. This is gonna be a combination of both what builds muscle and strength, and also my personal taste buds. And you could say, well, Mike, that's your opinion, your taste buds, but this is not a democracy. This is a dictatorship, and my taste buds, what says, what goes. Let's dive in. Number one, I think we just got steak. It looks like a tomahawk, but it looks like God's gift red meat, which is my favorite thing. One, I think it tastes the best. Two, it's got a lot of nutrients in that red meat. I like to eat ground beef even when I'm dieting. Right now I'm eating 96, 97% lean ground beef. When I'm not dieting, trust me, your boy loves a tomahawk, loves a ribeye. Even on the weekends, I've been smoking a tri-tip, deliciosa. So, of course, the beef is heading to the top. I'm about to nut. Next, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's called the other, other white meat. Low-key underrated. Everyone talks about bacon, but a nice like pork chop or pork loin, depending on the, on the fat content and how your diet's going, is actually delicious. You slather that boy in some barbecue sauce. Beautiful summer barbecue. I enjoy pork. I don't eat it that often. It's definitely not in my top top. We'll put it, we'll put it in the F and amazing because it's a great piece. It's not something I would eat every day on my food prep, but it is something that I would dive into pretty regularly. Next, I think we got some organs. I'm not liver king. I don't take the TRT plus. I don't lie to you. Never lied to you guys. Not purposely, at least. Maybe I've said things that are untrue, but that's not a purposeful lie. They have made mistakes. But I haven't purposely lied to you in market to get a private plane and other luxuries that many of your favorite buff guys on the internet may or may not do. The pebble, the kidney queen, etc., etc. Liver probably has some nutrients in it. I haven't looked that deep into it because I'm not eating raw meat. With modern civilization and the industrial revolution, we don't need to eat raw meat no more. We'll throw in the okay. I haven't even looked into its nutrient profile. I, I've heard from multiple sources, but I haven't looked into it myself, so I can't confirm. And you know what's crazy about diet culture? We can enjoy our foods. I don't just have to eat liver and kidney because it's good for me. That fool's definitely having red wine and smacking a cookie at night. He's lying to you. Next, we got fish. I think in particular, this one is salmon. I love sushi. I love sashimi, nigiri, but I will not eat cooked fish. That's just me. I don't know why. A little bit of barbecued salmon sometimes, but I don't really like cooked fish. In general, if we're talking about protein content, fish is some of the highest, especially tuna and others. Salmon's a little fattier, but it's obviously um, great fats for your system. I'm gonna throw it in the effing amazing for the salmon. Ladies and gentlemen, as I just hyped up my sashimi tuna, you know, I love tuna and I love sashimi. I'm not eating any meat out of a can or out of a bag. It's not happening. I know all these bodybuilders are about this bag tuna, the chicken of the ocean. I'm not eating that ever. That's going in pure garbage. I don't even want to think about it. I don't want to open it. I don't want to look at it. The only meat that belongs in a bag is beef jerky. It's beef jerky, you perverts. Get your head out of the clouds. A condom is not a bag. Beef jerky. This one's gonna be a little bit of a weird rating because I don't love them, but they are top notch. Eggs. I love an omelet. If I'm at a, if I, if I'm at a nice diner, I'm, I'm slamming eggs. Great source of protein. Egg whites are obviously very low in fat, if not zero fat. I and mean, a little bit of egg here and there is a great idea. Easy source, easy to gurgle down, but I'm not eating it. So we're gonna throw in the F and amazing because I know it's so versatile. I think next to them is egg whites. I'll throw that in a, uh, uh, I'm about to nut, just because it has no fat. 
and the other one has a little bit of fat. So when you're dieting, not that fat is bad for you, but the issue is when you're dieting and you're a 200 pound man, I gotta get 200 grams of protein and still under 60 fat. So the selection of protein sources that I choose from become a little bit more limited. Again, it's not because fat is bad, it's just to get 200 grams and keep the ceiling of that fat low, you might have to slip in some egg whites. So a trick is to eat like one whole egg and three egg whites, something like that, moderate it out. Same with the steak style, right? I can't be eating filet mignon and ribeye all day. I'm eating more things like the ground beef, sirloins, etc., And that's obviously where the chicken, uh, the pork, and the other fishes come more into play. Milk's a great source. I'm not one to just grab milk and drink on it. The only uh, thing I would say is I do slam Fairlife. Fairlife milk, 0% fat, is basically like a protein shake. It tastes like milk, it tastes better. The vanilla, pre-made, the core powers, the 30 grams, the 24 grams, the 52 grams. I don't know why they got so many gram versions, um, but they're all pretty good. That's going to go up in the about to nut, just because it's so convenient. Next we got queso, cheese. Cheese is a great topping. I do eat some fat-free cheese um, to kind of spice up some of my ground beef and my bland meals when I am dieting. As a source itself, it does have protein in it, but I would never call it a protein source simply because the amount of carbs and fat that are in there and the amount of protein in there per serving, um, it's probably just too dense in calories to be a great protein source. So we'll throw that probably in the bad. Moving on to lentils, I believe, is what we're digging in. I'll probably throw it in the okay. Lentils taste great. They can spice up something like a burrito bowl or a salad and add a little bit of protein. They do have carbs and even a hair of fat, depending on how they're packaged. Sometimes they're packaged in oil and stuff. Um, great fiber, great nutrients. Ladies and gentlemen, next is cottage cheese, which is like a very old school, very common bodybuilding nutrient food snack. It's something a lot of people eat at night. A lot of these things that come from dairy when they're refined, whey protein, as most shakes are made of, come from milk. And cottage cheese also comes from there. So they start to process it all and it has a lot of casein protein, which is a slower digesting protein. So old school thought is that you eat slower digesting proteins at night and you repair it overnight. It doesn't exactly work that way, but it is a slower digesting protein. I personally hate it. I'm never gonna eat it. If it's something you enjoy, I'll definitely throw it for you guys. I'm gonna throw it into the effing amazing because it is a really good source. One of my favorite snacks, I don't eat it often unless I'm out, shrimp. Shrimp is delicious, it's going in the about to nut. Very, very low in fat. You obviously getting the volume in is a little bit more difficult because you gotta eat a thousand little guys to get you know 50 grams of protein, but seafood, most fish is generally fairly lean if you compare it to its beef counterpart. Chicken breast, a staple. I don't love it. I love chicken thigh, I love beef but chicken breast is so versatile, it's so lean, it's affordable, and the protein is insanely high, zero carb, unless you're throwing in some crazy sauces, so it's gotta go in the about to nut category. Next is chicken thigh, I'm gonna throw it up there too. If you're dieting, obviously, it's a little bit more difficult, thigh has a little bit more fat involved, but if you track your food, you can figure it out, and I personally think that some barbecue thighs by themselves or even on an air fryer is amazing. Delicious, but probably not what we're looking at, bacon. A little too fatty for probably what we're looking for. Most slices of bacon are like three fat, three protein. So it's harder to get the protein you need within the day. Again, if I'm 200 pounds, I could eat less than 60 fat. For example, when I'm dieting, it's gonna be really hard to get any bacon in. Maybe some as an accessory or a crumbled over a salad or a piece or two with your egg whites is possible. But it's gonna be really, really hard. So. For that case, we're throwing it in the bad tier. Next, we got some other Livni kidney shit. I'm gonna throw it in pure garbage just because I don't know what it is. Then we got oysters. I don't eat oysters, and I don't imagine how many you gotta eat to get enough protein. So for purely strength and bodybuilding purposes, we're probably going dumper. I believe this is a New York steak. New York steak, we're gonna throw in the about to nut. A little hard to get if you are trying to diet. Again, the fat ratio is probably not there, but of the delicious meats, right? When we're going to a steakhouse, you're getting a filet, a ribeye, or a New York. If you get anything else, you're a moron. Most fancy, nice steakhouses don't serve anything else. New York is the leanest out of those three. So New York's something that I love. I don't eat it often when I'm dieting, unless I'm gonna drop my carbs on like a diet or uh, excuse me, on a rest day. I believe this is tilapia. I can't say much. I'm gonna throw it in the okay because I've never eaten it. It's a bodybuilding staple. When you're getting shredded and you're in the 1990s, everyone's eating tilapia and broccoli every single day. Not what I'm into. Again, I don't like cooked fish. I'll eat fish raw and tilapia is not something normal you order. Protein supplements, something I do not take. I can't tell you the last time I had a protein shake. It's been decades. Um, I do have the fair life here and there, but it's just not something I go into. Powders aren't uh, something I enjoy to eat, and I enjoy meat, so I'm going to eat meat. Um, I like to enjoy my food. If you don't, and you want the convenience of a protein powder, by all means, most of them are fairly uh, built the same. Whey protein, casein protein, doesn't really matter. They're both complete proteins. Uh, something lower in fat, lower in carbs, something like a hydrolyzer, an isolate is great. 
Uh, then you can mix in your own carbs with that if you want or just drink it by itself. We'll throw it in the okay tier simply because I don't think it tastes that good. Ladies and gentlemen, hopefully that helps you out. Get jacked with your protein intake. Roughly one gram of protein per pound of lean body mass is what we should be aiming for. Community and culture, 3sb.co. Cop the drop, man. New stuff coming real, real soon. So join goodcompanydiscord.com. I appreciate you. Catch you in the next one.